this, this is where I run to hide from the world. This is my inner sanctum. Um, very important part. This is, this is the equivalent of the shed. Uh, every man needs one. I'm sure every woman needs one. And uh, so we do a lot here. I do a lot here. Um, and then it gets carried to the shop. And from there, ultimately, reaches the customer who's looking for something special. But there's always things here that need work doing to them. Started underground book selling well, when I was at university. Um, no money, of course. Um, needed to earn a living. I'd hung around the second-hand bookshops just out of interest. Um, bought the odd little thing, nothing of great value. But I sold them while I was at university and found I made a profit on them. Um, by the time I finished my degree, I was a bookseller. So these should go with us because it's a Charles Dickens first edition. Um, it's a London Fair. Uh, Dickens is a, you know, a strong author, a uh, London author. And um, this would make a very good gift book. It's been on the shelf since we bought it. It needs a bit of attention now. Um, it's a little dried and there's some rubbing of that so we can uh, give this a bit of care and restoration. Um, spruce it up and get it looking uh, nice and clean and hopefully saleable and we'll take that to the fair. So uh, This is where when they go in and out of the shelves repeatedly you get some rubbing and scuffing. The surface of the leather has come away leather bindings just dry out over the years and when I've done this one I'll put the two side by side and then you can really see the differences highlighted it's quite good that we've got a pair back here we have the hospital and the hospital is where we keep not quite complete books uh, but for rare books sometimes it's quite useful, you can make them up. You have to declare the fact you've made them up because collectors want to know the history of the book and they don't mind buying it with a replacement leaf of text. If it's a very rare copy, then they're not gonna get complete any other way. This has still got rubbed areas, particularly at the, the headband there, which is where you get all the wear down the foot. These are the running edges where the book goes on and off the shelf. That gets quite a lot of wear. Marks like the stain there. That's probably a, a spot of oil or grease. Now that can't be removed. But um, the polish will at least improve its appearance. Now, these books are 150 years old. So you expect to have some sort of battle scars from its life. And they're ready to go. They can be boxed up and come with us to the book fair.
unfortunately didn't sell this time, but uh, we had to give it an outing. We put it back on the shelf. At present in America, 8% of all new books sold are downloads. That's happened in two years. It's going to catch on more and more and more. Suddenly the publisher says it's no longer viable to print a maybe book as a hardback. We'll only do it as a, as a download. So if you're a student and you're doing research into something, it makes more sense to carry your entire reference stock of books that you need with you as downloads rather than as a lorry load of potential reference books. It's more practical. It sounds like I'm voting for it. I'm just accepting the wind of change that's blowing through it. In my lifetime, we will see a fine, we will reach the point where the supply of books becomes finite. But I believe the printed book is under threat as a, as a continuous thing. The end.